Clark Country, how's it going? Got a little fun treat for you. This is just a little sample of some wrestlers talking about Clark Williams. What do we have here? Clark Williams up in the house. Well, I'm Brandon Cutler from AEW, but I see you are the alpha champ of Gen Pro Wrestling. Congrats on that. And you're rising through the ranks of the New Jersey indie scene. Well, Clark, I'm sure I'll see you soon enough on AEW Dark, where I'm going to cold spray your ass! <laughs> Clark, hello, it's Pretty Peter Avalon. I just wanted to reach out to you and wish you good luck. You're a rising star on the independent scene. Your brother Andrew's telling me that he's a big fan and that you're tearing it up and you're going to do big things. And you know what? I believe him. I want to say... Uh, Thank you to you both for being inspired by what I sent on BTE. And I hope that, uh, you know, keep on doing you and that I see you at the top very soon, Clark. So good luck. Take care, bud. See ya. Mm. Ah. Ha. Hello, Clark, with an E. Even though adding the E doesn't change the pronunciation at all, this is your dear sweet mm, reflective i'm feeling reflective let me reflect with another sip it's two shots of espresso in a cup of coffee it's early and i'm losing it. it's not even that early you're saying why am i speaking to you well it's not my doing it's andrew's doing andrew mott to be precise and of course his family is of the mott's clamato caesar dynasty and they're spicy and tangy and everything I love about clam juice cocktails. <clears throat> this is what Andrew wrote to me to tell you, Clark, I guess about yourself. Rising up the ranks of the New Jersey wrestling scene. Okay, I got to stop here. Then he put a space and a comma. You don't need to put a space between the last letter and the comma. You can just put scene, no space, comma, because you're commatizing scene. Don't you understand? Let's start again. I should have taken out my pen. Rising up the ranks of the New Jersey wrestling scene, comma, a current alpha champ of Gen Pro Wrestling. That's a lot. Alpha champ, you go, what does this mean? And then Gen Pro, what does Gen Pro mean? It's a generation of professionals. So before then, there was no professionals. After then, there will be no professionals. But this current generation, all professionals. And you are the alpha of that. The beginning of that or the top of that, the top of the heap remains to be seen. How can I help? Yeah, how can I help? We're both huge fans, especially of Hey W. Well, there's really nothing else you're going to be fans of, really. You're just fans of your favorite wrestlers and personalities sitting down. Whether I'm talking to them or not is probably irrelevant, but thank you. Would just love something with that gimmick to hype him up. You think this is a fucking gimmick, Andrew? Do you think this idiocy, this obscurity I live with is somehow made up and falsified instead of my own authentic prison that I've been trying to escape for decades now? This is what it's like, Clark. I would love to be Alpha Champ of Gen Pro, but no, I'm stuck with these glasses on. They don't even have any lenses in them. Sipping some sort of coffee cocktail that isn't a Mott's Clamato Caesar, which I love to drink. Love sitting on the deck in the sun and grabbing a mat. One more mat, please. More about Clark. Yes, I want to know more about Clark Williams. He dreams of wrestling in AEW and on AEW. Well, I think, I think the first hurdle is getting into AEW. Once you're in AEW, I think it's pretty easy to get on AEW. I don't think we have this big requirement of anything. It's just, are you available and can you sit down and tolerate me for however long you can tolerate me? So, yeah, I would just focus on the first one and then the second one kind of, it's almost kind of guaranteed, you know? His favorite wrestler of all time is Nash and his first word was Diesel, which is fucking weird. That's not normal. That's not good. My first word was Pedro Morales, and even I think it's weird. Big Pedro guy. I love Kevin Nash. He's a wonderful person. He's incredibly smart. He is incredibly funny. He was a wonderful wrestler. You can go back and watch his matches, and you can learn so many things. I was in a movie with him. 
Um, that was not very good, but I'm going to recommend you watch it anyway because you seem interested in this kind of stuff. Since your first name, since your first word was Diesel, I know your first name is Clark. Your first name is Mont. The movie is called Monster Brawl, and the plot is classic monsters wrestling. I play two roles. I don't want to tell you which ones. And Kurgan is in it, and Dave Foley is in it from Kids in the Hall. Most importantly, Kevin Nash is in it. And he gives the acting performance of a lifetime. It's not the film of a lifetime. It may be a film that ends your life. You go, you, I can't watch another film for the rest of my life. But, uh, yeah, you seem like the kind of person who this may fall under your milieu. It's another good word to look at. He was that raised on wrestling. Well, I blame your parents, quite frankly. Should have given you some other books. They should have given you a catcher in the rye. What else did I read? Lost in the Barrens was a good one. And then and then you get older and you read these other professors have these books. No, New York Trilogy. What does this mean? And White Noise and the City of God, all those books. Um, but it's too late. It's No, no. You know what? It's not too late. Start reading other books. That's my advice to you. Congrats on being Alpha Champ in... Gen Pro Wrestling. This isn't the next gen. This is the now gen. And read a few more. Watch Monster Brawl. And then you'll become so stupefied by it that you'll hate the wrestling business and you'll start to read more books. That's my advice to you. So good luck. My man Clark, the money fight. I have got it. On good authority, mostly from your friend Mott, that you are about to main event. Your first event for none other than Gen Pro Wrestling. I also believe that you are defending your title. So I just wanted to zoom on by and tell you why it's so damn awesome. Anthony, you deserve a pat on the back because every single second, every single minute, every single hour of that blood, sweat and tears, of that hard work that you put into your wrestling career is now about to take off. It's now about to pay off and you're about to become the man. Maybe you're already the man. In fact, you are already the man because one day you decided you wanted to be a professional wrestler and you took your gear, you took your protein shake and you took your ass and you went down to a wrestling ring and now you are about to do it. And while I'm saying silly things here, I mean it from the bottom of my tum tum. I really do. Because as a professional wrestler myself, I know how hard it is to train. And I know how hard it is to have a match. I know how hard it is to improve. And I know how hard it is to get better. But the fact that somebody at Gem Pro has said, I tell you what, man, that Clark, he's the person that needs to hold the gold. And he's the person that needs to close off the show. My man, I hope you are giving yourself a round of applause every single day. And I know Mott is too because he told me he's damn proud of you and I bet he can't wait to see you as well. And just think, this could be the whole catalyst, the whole change, the whole start of something new. Down the line, you may have this match. You may open people's eyes to professional wrestling and they may start going, well, we've got to go down to Gem Pro. We've got to go see the champ, Clark Williams. Otherwise, we're missing out. And that's when the magic happens, my friend. And I've no doubt that you're not going to be able to do it. Now, back in the real world, I do just want to say thank you very much for watching my videos, for engaging, for liking, for commenting, whatever you may do, even though uh, I know cameos aren't really for this thing. I kind of like to use it as an opportunity because we get to have this conversation so I can just say thank you because without you, I ain't doing my own wrestling. I ain't doing the videos. I ain't doing much of anything other than freaking out because it's all gone bad. But the fact that you dedicate your time and you support what I do, it means the world to me, especially when you have this career of being a professional wrestler. Now, Clark, here's also what I want to do. You're a professional wrestler. I'm a professional wrestler. You're a champion. I'm a champion some places, but not really. Let's put it into the ether. Let's put it out there into the atmosphere, into the world. Someday, somewhere across this planet, across this earth, you and I are going to have a match, my friend. And if gold is on the line, great. If gold's not on the line, it doesn't matter. And I hope, actually, that match is until 2023 and you are still the Gen Pro champion because then you're like the flubbing Roman Reigns of Gen Pro and you can use that as a step ladder as well. Good luck, my friend. I'm excited to hear how you're going to do. But remember, you're already a success. The fact that you took your dream and you manifested itself into reality doesn't matter what happens now. You've already done it. You make sure you enjoy the ride. I'll talk to you soon.